I came here to run cross country and the media kind of gives you this stereotypical sorority girl and I was like, I will never be that <laughs> ever. Um, and then I came here and met a girl on my cross country team that was in a sorority and I was like, no way. You were the most down to earth, hilarious person. I just can't believe it. So uh, at that point I was like, I kind of need to figure out what Baker Greek Flag is all about. Just seeing all those um, women in the different houses having so much fun together was just something that I um, thought was contagious and wanted to be a part of. So I just think um, I wanted to make friends and I thought this would be a great way to meet a lot of people. So I was a transfer student. So when I got here, I knew practically really no one. And so my mom was like, oh, just go through it. And I was like, well, I'm kind of old. You know, I don't know if they'll take me or not. Yeah. And I went through it and I just, I met so many people on like the first day, like went to classes and everyone was saying hi to me. And I was like, wow, I really am starting to fit in. And it was just a great experience. And I've kept those friendships, even though I didn't choose kind of the other chapters, I've kept yeah. those friendships alive and it's, it was really good for me. Yeah. The first day you're here on campus, you just notice how much fun these women are having together and just, you just really want to be part of it because like the college experience is just going to be so much different if you're in a house and you're with these people all the time and you're experiencing these things and it just, it was just something I couldn't sit out on. Um, my favorite panel like memories have to be the panel like unity dinners. It's really nice to like, you know, eat with your sisters every night, but on those nights we split up by either name or town or grade and just go to different houses and eat with the girls. And it's just nice to mingle with them because you can't always make time to go out to eat with girls from other houses because we're all so busy with school. So that's probably my favorite memory. It's a good time to catch up with everybody. Spiking out's fun because it, it supports our philanthropy, but a lot of the other um, sororities and fraternities on campus get involved and come and get a team, so that was cool. Greek life has uh, taught me a lot about myself as an individual. Um, it's really taught me how to balance everything in my life, um, academics, athletics, and Greek life. Um, it's kind of a big load to take on, but I think it's really helped me um, time management and um, just a balance between everything in my life. The benefits I gained from Greek life would definitely be confidence and leadership skills. It's also nice to have that home away from home um, that, you know, sisters are always going to be there from you. Coming from a five hours away, it's just nice to come back to Baker and have like kind of like a little family just ready to greet you and it's just, it's a benefit because it's nice to know that even though I can't see my friends and family from back home, I always have my sisters here. It's helped a lot. There's always women that can help you study and there's always people in your chapters or in other chapters who have taken classes that you've taken and so they can help you and it's just such a support system to be able to study with five or ten other women. It's a big priority and so just having that group of women that you can go and study with, upperclassmen you can ask questions about majors and things like that, it just really helps. You walk by and see people studying and you're like, oh, you know, I should have fun studying with them. So I just think uh, motivation um, is a big deal. Um, you want to do well academically for your sisters. You don't want to let them down. Um, it's not difficult at all. I mean, I'm in multiple different organizations and I hold leadership roles in many different clubs and things like that. And so it's really not hard at all. The great part about it is all the um, chapters on campus, they understand that, you know, you're here for Baker, A, to get an education, and then B, if you're on a sports team, you have that obligation. So all of them are very understanding on if you have a time commitment or if, you know, you need to miss a certain event, kind of understanding that yeah. your priorities and they're really accommodating. They're just really good about being able to work with your schedule and work around your conflicts. It's what you put into it. If you want to be a part of a chapter, but you don't want to hold a position, that's fine. And if you do want to, like I do in my house, and I'm still able to keep good grades and I'm involved, I have leadership roles on campus, it just helps keep you organized and everything kind of balanced. It's, it seems like you're taking on more, but it's actually making things easier for you.